Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. Today I have a shotgun that promises to be able to shoot trap. Pull. Shoot skeet. Pull. And shoot sporting clays. Well, we don't have sporting clays out here. But this gun promises to do all three. It is the Breda A400 XL Multi-Target. So if you're looking for an in-depth and detail review, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Now what a shotgun promises that you can shoot all three disciplines with it, I'm a little bit skeptical. But this shotgun has some features that I'm really curious to try out and test and see how well it does at all three disciplines. The Breda A400 XL Multi-Target Semi-Auto Shotgun. Now we're out here at the Alexandria Shooting Park. No, this is not the Alexandria Shooting Park because it's currently under feet of snow. So we're down here in South Georgia at the ranges at Oakfield in beautiful Thomasville, Georgia, doing some reviews, shooting some trap, shooting some skeet, shooting some five stand. But let's dive into this review. It is the Beretta A400 XL Multi-Target. I've already said that. I gotta stop saying that because that's a long name. The shotgun comes in an MSRP of $3029. That's $3,029. But I got it from my favorite sporting good retailer for less than that. It's not the cheapest shotgun out there, but it packs a lot of cool features. I'm excited to shoot this gun. It is a 12 gauge, three inch chamber, 32 inch barrel, adjustable comb, comes in at a weight of seven pounds, 11 ounces. So not the lightest gun out there, but you know what? With the clay shooting disciplines, you don't necessarily want the lightest gun. I'm really curious with this gun to see how it handles recoil, being that it is a little bit heavier gun, has a gas operated system, has the kickoff. We'll talk more about that in ergonomics and recoil, but this gun is action packed. This shotgun comes with three chokes. It's the Optima chokes, the Optima HP chokes by Beretta. It's improved cylinder mod and improved mod. The length of pull, which you know, is the distance from the trigger to the center of the butt end is 14 and a quarter inches out of the box. The drop is adjustable because it has adjustable comb. What I like about the adjustable comb is not only can you raise it up or down, but you can also move it left or right. So this one had a little too much cast for me. I got a narrow face. I had to bring it a little bit closer to my face, just a little bit. I think I got it pretty well dialed in, adjusted to me. One last thing I like to take a look at when it comes to specs is the trigger pull. So we're just going to mount up a little bit spongy. It's not heavy. A little bit of pre-travel, which I've noticed these A400s have in the different ones that I've shot. Man, I've really loved the Breda A400 Extreme Plus as a duck gun, so I'm really curious to see how this is as a multi-target gun. Had the chance to shoot also the, and review the Beretta A400 Excel Sporting. Let's throw the scale on this trigger, see where it comes in at. I don't think it's real heavy. A little spongy, but not real heavy. 5.17, we'll enter that. Let's give it another pull. 5.16, I won't even pull another time, very consistent. We'll round up to 5.2 pounds. So nice light trigger on this. I actually really like that. It is a little spongy, a little more pre-travel than maybe I'd like, but nothing I'm gonna really complain about. Taking a look at the ergonomics of this shotgun, how it feels in the hands, how it mounts up. It has decent checkering. The pistol grip is a little bit thicker, which in a clay gun, I don't necessarily mind as long as my finger falls on the right spot on the trigger. If I take my hand like this, move it to the trigger, I'm on my first pad, I have very good contact. That works out for me really well. That's something you guys can do as you look at shotguns. Just take your hand, lined up with the trigger, move it forward, get that first pad on there, and see how the grip radius feels. See how the palm swell feels. You really want your finger in a good spot like that. If you can see that, you don't want your finger pulling up like this. You don't want to be pulling way down on it. You want your finger to basically be able to pull straight back. So this gun fits me extremely well as far as the grip goes. Slight adjustment on the Monte Carlo. Mount's really nice. Balance point. I'm curious about this balance point. Maybe a little front heavy, which is kind of by design, I think. They have a weighted cap on the front end of the forearm. Gives you a little bit more weight out front, gives you a smoother swing. That's the idea behind it. We got, looks like a brass mid bead and a ivory, a big ivory. I, I think that's too big for me, but at least it's not a fiber optic. 
It's just an ivory front bead. It does have this adjustable rib on top. I think they call it their B-Fast system. And I think this is what makes this gun different than a lot of other multi-discipline guns, is you can actually change your point of impact by changing your rib. I think all you do is simply twist this and you can change that. I have not played with it, but we will here in a little bit. So that I think is super cool. I'm excited to do some shooting. I'm gonna shoot a full round of trap. I'll shoot some skeet, shoot some sporting type clay targets, but then I'll, at the very end, give you my final thoughts on this shotgun. Really like the ergonomics, really like the layout of this gun. This is a semi-auto, so we have a few more features to talk about. The bolt release, easy bolt release here. Easy to find, just nice light press, large bolt handle. I don't love that you have to do that on a lot of these guns to lock it back. The loading port, nothing really fancy about the loading port. It is a little bit shaved right here, but it's not really milled out. That's always a nice feature. This does have the kickoff recoil reduction system. So if we were to put it down here, you'll see that actually compresses. I'm not sure how much I love that or not. It feels a little bit strange. But speaking of which, let's just get to recoil and reliability. Let's put some rounds down range. Yeah, that kickoff system feels really weird. It's like a pulse. I've mentioned that before in the reviews. I take a little more recoil to my face than I would expect. Part of that might be some of the adjustments I made. Maybe it still needs to be dialed in a little bit. I just did that real quickly. Pull. Feels pretty good. Recoil. Let's, uh, let's shoot one from the hip. No issues there. I love semi-autos because I get to shoot them in all sorts of fun ways, test them out, see how they cycle. Over-unders, kind of boring that way. Let's try over the head. That's a true test. Might as well shoot targets while we do it. Ready, Jordan? Pull. Oh, crushed it. Pull. Stop giving me the hard lefts. I hit that one too. Chipped it. Pull. Three for three on the hard lefts and the gun cycled over the head. That's how you know you got a reliable gun. Gas system, I'm not surprised. One more test on recoil. Pull. Okay, that's a lot to hold one-handed, but I know you're not gonna do that. This is very soft shooting gun. I'm really impressed. They're bred A400s. How soft recoiling they are. Very reliable platform, really liking that. Top notch, nothing negative to say. Moving on, we're gonna go ahead and break this gun down for you. See what we're working with. If you've watched the Beretta A400 Extreme Plus video, it's probably gonna be a lot the same. You got a weighted foreign cap on this. I think that's super cool. Nice and heavy, fore end off, barrel, and part of the gas system comes with. I think they call it the blink gas system. It's supposed to be super fast. The bolt handle requires you to push down the bolt just to the right spot. There we go. That's about the only real tricky thing. And then this spring and sleeve and bolt all come off together. Super simple. One pin for the trigger group to pop right out. For gas gun, very, very simple to break apart. Very, very simple to put back together. I like the operation of the A400s. They've grown on me. Every time I shoot an A400, grows on me a little bit more. Great gas systems, fairly clean gas systems. Like I'm just looking at this one, it's, it's running pretty clean so far. But you know what, we need to take this gun. We need to get it on the trap field, on the skeet field, shoot some rounds. See how it holds up because I'll just get a better overall feel. If I sit there and shoot a dedicated round of trap, if I shoot some skeet and sporting clay type targets, I'll just get a better opinion than standing there and shooting static. So let's go. Pull. Pull. Chipped it. Pull. There we go, pretty good start. Got five. Pull. Perfect so far. What I really love about this is I noticed I'm shooting a little bit high. Now I can either change my style or if I want to keep my style, I can change my point of impact by changing my rib. Pull. Pull. 
pull. You know, I dropped two on that station. I don't know what to blame other than me and my fatiguing. It's been a full day of filming so far. Not that I'm complaining. Full day of shooting is better than most days doing other things. Pull. Oh yeah. Pull. There we go. I'm getting a little lazy in my form. I gotta get a dial back in. Gotta be target focused, man. Pull. Oh no. Pull. That was a good one to end on. Hey, just a shot around a trap. Ended up with a 22. I did have three misses. A little bit getting just used to a gun. I'm very confident that if I took this out, and shot a few rounds, I'd be shooting 25 straights, 50 straights, 100 straights. My challenge is staying focused and dialed in, right? Trap shooting is a game of doing the same thing over and over. I'm used to trick shooting and just doing a whole bunch of crazy things. Sometimes when I'm shooting trap, I lose my focus. Had to admit it, gotta get it out there. Let's try a few skeet shots, see how this gun works at skeet. So we're on the skeet field, number four. This gives us kind of the same concept of what you're gonna see in some sporting clays and skeet. Pull. Crushed it. Pull. Didn't crush it. It is really weird going from trap to skeet with the same gun, same point of impact. Pull. Yeah, can still hit targets pretty well with it. Let's try, uh, let's try number eight. That's always fun. Got a modified choke in. That is not ideal. We're gonna shoot out of the low house. Oh. Smoke, baby, smoke. You know, Beretta didn't mention anything about the discipline of speed shooting shotguns. But we're gonna still put it to the test. See how well this cycles, how fast it shoots, how quick it mounts. Not a bad first run. That was a 1-4-0, by the way, 1-4-0. That was a 1-1-8, but I missed one. Picking up the pace though, I like that. It was a little slow on the hesitation there on the throw, one, three, seven. Smoked all three cleanly. Let's get one more. I may have thrown just a hair early, but that was a 1.08. I shot it in a .74, which I've done before. I've, I've shot that first shot in a .74, and then I had a .6 and a .8 split. So we know it's a fast cycling shotgun, light recoil, but I really wanna know, how is it at trick shooting? Over the head. I bet I can smoke two. Play stuck together. That's what I was gonna say. I bet I could do that. Smoke, baby, smoke. I bet I could even get three over the head. Look at that. Even can trick shoot with this gun. Is it doable to shoot all three sports? with the A400 XL multi-target. Do you have one gun you shoot all three disciplines with? Does anyone have the A400 XL multi-target with a really hot barrel that I just grabbed? I think if I got out there and I shot the different disciplines with this, I would get used to it. It's a little bit awkward not having shot this gun until today and then shooting around a trap and jumping right to skeet. It's got a different feel to it. Um, it's gonna take some time to get used to, but I really like the idea of the adjustable rib to change your point of impact. It's a good concept anyways. We'd love to hear what you guys think. I think this is a solid, solid gun. Not the cheapest gun out there, but if you're gonna be shooting trap skeet or sporting clays, maybe you wanna shoot a little of all three. This is definitely a great option. I wish there was a little more adjustability with length of pull. I do believe shims are available. I didn't see any shims in the box. But adjustable comb, lots of great features, very light recoil, very reliable, sporting, clay, trap, skeet, anything that's orange and flies through the air, gun. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think down in the comments of this shotgun. And remember, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots you're laser focused on. So live target focused. See ya.